Hello everyone and welcome back to our Disney countdown. It's getting close. It's getting real close and I'm kind of super excited. Um, just fingers crossed and nothing crazy happens between today and I just jinxed it. No, no it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So we're back with our Disney inspired look. Hey Maddie, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, drop a hello down below so I could say hi to you and let you know that, uh, say hi to you that you're live. If you're watching the replay, just hashtag replay. Um, this is going to be a fun one today. This one today is not going to be for the faint of heart. We are going bold today. Um, in the previous inspired looks I've been doing this week, everything has been kind of chilled. This one, I don't think we're going to get away with it being very minute. This one's going to be a little bold, okay? Um, again, we're not doing a face paint. We're not doing um, anything crazy like that, but we're doing eye and lip looks and highlighting looks geared towards a specific film or character or attraction or movie or whatever the case may be. So today... I decided, did anybody guess by reading the comment, all nine of you that are here right now, there was a clue. I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you, and no, it is not Whitney Houston, okay? Can anybody guess what today's inspiration is by that line? I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you. Who can figure it out? Anybody? Anyone? As I prep, get my concealer because we're gonna need concealer today. Anybody? Come on, I can't stump you all. I can't stump you all. Someone's gotta know. I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you. Somebody come through. Somebody. No? Come on. Is it that hard? All right, Monsters, Inc. Disney Pixar's film, Monsters, Inc. We are doing today. It's going to be a little crazy, and I'm kind of excited for it. I actually don't know what I have planned for it. We're just going to play as we go. So normally, guys, I come on here with a pair of ears, and... Today isn't necessarily a pair of ears, but we have Sully horns. So those are going on today for this Monsters, Inc. inspired look. <laughs> I told you, we have a lot of ears. Our, our collection is pretty extensive. Pretty extensive. All right. So I already put on my foundation, my bronzer, um, my skincare, and I am going to, the only thing I didn't do is I didn't apply a little concealer around my eyes to brighten it. And we're going to need it because we're going to be using bold ass colors today, guys. Bold ass colors. <laughs> oh, good, Tracy. So always make sure you shake up your foundations because sometimes when they sit for a while, they tend to separate no matter what brand you're using. Just shake it up. All right. And I'm going to be using our new liquid concealer, but our liquid concealer is so highly concentrated that I want to soften it up a bit. And I'm going to add a dab of um, our cream, BB cream, our tinted moisturizer, just because I like more of a hydrated look and I don't like anything crazy. So I'm just going to mix that on the back of my hand really quick. We're going to dab it all over our eyes. We're going to make our eyes very pale as possible because we're using some bold colors. So my inspiration for today, if you guys watched the movie Monsters, Inc., which, by the way, is a fantastic film, even more so my kids love Monsters University, which I think was hysterical how they brought that movie to life of kind of like how Sully met Mike, um... I thought for this look, we're going to do two eyes and we're going to do one eye, Mike Wazowski, and one eye, Sully. This is going to get a little crazy. So I'm just going, I'm looking down at my mirror 
take this mixture of the concealer and the BB cream and make sure I really prime that lid for bright colors today. Now this might not be a look that I would wear. I don't know, we haven't done it yet. So I don't know if this would be a look I would wear around the neighborhood. My, my goal is to make it fun enough that I wouldn't be ashamed to wear it in the parks. Okay, that's the goal for today. So I'm just doing a little bit under my eye and above the eye. And I want to get in there because we're going to do a lot of a lot of funky eye work and a lot of bold colors and a lot of techniques that I haven't done in a very long time. Okay, we looking pale yet? I think so. Okay, I'm going to take this little brush and just blend out the lines. So now it just looks like my under eyes are awake. There you go. That's all you need is a little concealer and a little light to bring a little life under your eyes. It's okay that those lids are a little... We're going to zoom in a little bit. Sorry, guys. Whoa! All right. I'm a little sore today. If you guys didn't see my postings, the Peloton came yesterday, and I might have overdone it. My whole goal is I don't want to be super sore by the time we go to Disney, walking around the park. So I'm like, if I kick the crap out of myself now, I won't be hurting later on. Do you think that's true or not? All right. So we're going to go again. If you guys are just tuning in, <clears throat> Mike Wazowski, which should be fun because Mike Wazowski is literally an eyeball. So we're going to do a big green look on this eye. And then the goal is to do some blue work over here, maybe with some purple like liquid liner on top. I want to try and make purple polka dots on my eyelid. And I think I have a way to do it. I'm not too sure. And we'll finish up with like a purple lip and a, like a shimmery type of highlight that's like lavender. So today we're going to be using the bold and fun Rainbow palette number seven. Whew. That's a lot of color. That's a lot of color, Kristen. I know. I know. All right. I need a crease brush. So if you're playing with colors at home, big tip is you kind of always want to go with the dark color first because you can always take a lighter color and go over it. Does that make any sense? I hope so. So I'm going to be taking this really dark green and then we're going to lighten the shade up by putting the white over it. I'll show you how you can blend colors, but oh my God, it's going to be bright today. All right, here we go. Let's just do it. And I always say I dat, dat isn't even a word, but if you guys know me by now, I make up my own words dat. I just press the shadow, especially using bold colors like this. I'm kind of doing a U shape on the end and to the middle of the iris. Don't go beyond that because that's going to be a little crazy. Okay. So I dyed it there because when you swipe, you get a lot of fallout. So my goal here is to really go dark here. Okay, and then I want to try to lighten the green in the middle of the eye. Or do I have a light green color? I don't think I did. I, I tried to prep this one as much as possible because of all the colors are so bold. And I'm just pressing, going in that U shape. It's almost like an overreached U. I'm pressing that in. It's going to be green. Uh, I think I do have a, another color that's a lighter green. It's not a unique color, but that's okay because this is just for fun. I'm going to have to go to my daughter's rainbow palette. She's got this palette that I got at CVS like a million years ago. Yeah, it's it's old, but you know. It's got a million colors. I'm going to go for one of those light green colors for the inside, just so we don't have to mix. 
which one is Mike Wazowski? This one. I probably should throw this palette out. It's so old. What dates are we going? So, Kim, we are leaving the 8th. We are driving down. Um, just because I believe I said this in the last one. I'm not exactly ready to jump on a plane with the baby because I know they're very strict on, you know, the mask rules. And I know when we're in Disney, he's going to be able to keep his mask on most of the time when we take him out of the stroller to go on rides and so on and so forth. I'm going to get one of those rain covers, which reminds me, I'm also taking that light green and going over that dark green. So it's like a little... Cool. Oh, Kim, we might be there the same time. We're going to have to uh, exchange plans on what reservations you have for what day. Maybe we'll be in a park at the same time and run into each other. We always run into somebody. Every single time we go, I think the last trip was the first time we never ran into somebody. And like, you would think Disney World is such a huge place. What are the chances you're going to run into someone? Yep, you do almost every single time. And it's usually the most random person, like someone you worked with like years ago or something like that. I think I'm going to take a little bit of this dark green again and just do a little dab here. So it looks like a little shadowing, almost giving it like the Mike Wazowski round eye look because he's lighter in the middle. And we're going to do some green under here. Um, but... Yeah, definitely send me your itinerary. I want to know if it will be there at the same time, same days. That'd be fun. We're, we're driving down the 8th because I really am, I don't think he'll be able to keep a mask on on a plane for three hours straight. And I don't want to cause problems on the plane. I don't want to be that person who's like, they don't have their mask on and everyone, you know, is mad. Don't want to get uh, on the no fly list, so... We are driving down. We've driven down plenty of times. We're actually going to vlog it this time and show different places that we stop. If you guys haven't subscribed to it already, we have a family YouTube channel called Mr. Keen's Wild Ride. And we film all of our adventures for our family and friends because everyone always asks me questions about Disney. I'm like, why don't we just start putting it up on a channel so that everyone can see what we do? Because we do it a million times different every single time. And we have different experiences, go to all the restaurants, go to different hotels. So definitely check that out. I wanna take this little smudger brush. I don't know, Madison got this in an Ipsy. And I'm gonna take a bright green. What color did I just use? I think it was this one. And let's see. I'm gonna try and smudge. So we're, we're trying to be Mike Wazowski on this side. And in this side, over here, we're going to be Sully. Uh, where are we staying this trip? So Chris, um, Chris, we are doing a split stay, which I'm kind of very excited about. Um, we are doing, I'm going around that tear duct too, because I'm just liking the way the green is lining under the eye perfectly. It's like Mike. All right, uh, we're doing a split stay and our goal for this trip is to not take a Disney bus. That's the goal for this trip because if you guys have gone to Disney before and you have jumped on a Disney bus with a stroller, you know how hectic and stressful it is. You don't want to be the person that everyone's waiting for. You're trying to pack it up as fast as you can. You got to hold it. And then someone ends up holding a kid. And at nighttime, when the other two are falling asleep, and then you're trying to see everybody and you got to unpack it and put it back out and put them back in the stroller. It's just a lot. So we're going to try and attempt to not take a Disney bus one time this trip. So we have a split stay and we're staying first at the Art of Animation, which is a Disney Valley resort. Um, it's, it's actually priced like a moderate, in my opinion. It is the nicest value resort, um, the most expensive too. But if you're about going to the parks with your kids 
and you want over the top theming to make them feel like the most magical place in the world, do the art of animation. It is just fantastic. They have the rooms or themes to either, um, what we got, I'm just blending this a little bit more guys. Um, we have theming to Little Mermaid, which are the standard rooms. Then you have the suites and those have like the Murphy bed tables. You can sit more people. You have a little mini living room and a little kitchen. That is themes to either Lion King, Nemo, or Disney Cars. We're saying it is standard. Uh, when are you going, Kim? We're leaving. We're driving on the 8th. So um, I wanted to stay in a suite, of course, because I just like the extra space. But he made a point. We're not really going to be in the room that much this trip. So um, I didn't mind it. We're staying in the, the Little Mermaid standard suite. Uh, standard room and everyone always goes is like oh but it's such a long walk to the main lobby it is but when you're walking through the lands of the Lion King and you're walking through a whole another land of Nemo themed it kind of makes the walk a little fun so I kind of love it um but the exciting thing about studying of Artem animation is that very right next door is the Skyliner hub and that's the new gondola Skyway uh, form of transportation. So while we're staying at the Art of Animation Resort, we're going to be hopping on the Skyliner and going to both Epcot and Hollywood Studios. I th I agree, Chris. Some people have complained about the walk. I enjoy the walk so much. No, don't let them steal your joy at all. Kimberly, the, the Art of Animation is a little bit more pricey than, a, than like Pop Century or All Star Resort. It's priced as a moderate resort. It's a little pricey, but... um. I think it's worth it. It's one of the newer uh, value resorts too. But we're jumping on that Skyliner while we're there and we're uh, flying, literally flying to Hollywood Studios and Epcot those days. And then mid-trip, we are going to be checking out of our Art of Animation and we're going to be checking into Bay Lake Towers. And if none, if you guys aren't familiar with the, like towers, that is like the Disney Vacation Club um, hotel of the Contemporary Resort, which was the first resort um, of Disney, and it's right next door to the Magic Kingdom. And we are literally going to get out of our hotel and walk next door to the Magic Kingdom for the rest of our stay. So I have it planned perfectly that I wouldn't have to take one bus, hoping that this goes my way. Um, oh, with the pandemic, do you think it's cheaper now? I honestly don't think so, um, Kimberly. I think the prices are pretty much the same. Um, um, I don't know about the hotel rates because we're Disney Vacation Club members, so we use our points. Um I, I can add you into our Disney group, Kim, if you want it, um, and I'll do some research for you. Um, hey, Callie. So, all right. So, we got a Mike Wazowski going on here. What do you think, guys? We got a couple of greens faded in. A little light and green to represent Mike. And I have an idea for this one to make it sully. I really hope it works. Let's put the lashes on this side because I think that's pretty dumb. We don't have to do anything more. These colors are bold as it is, so I wouldn't want to overdo it. This is just supposed to be Disney-inspired makeup. But I think we got this trip to a science that we're not going to have to take a bus. And I am so excited. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to do a little white eyeliner in my inner eye to make the eye look whiter. Because... He's all about, he's just an eye, Mike Wazowski. So we'll do that. So I did my little my little brush first, and then, yeah, this has two brushes, if you didn't. Does your mascara do that? Isn't that weird? It's a tube inside a tube. And the little tiny one gets like every itty bitty lash, like for a basic everyday look, but I'm going a little more dramatic, so I'm pulling out the second wand. I did the open mouth mascara look. I try not to. 
and I always tell you guys, I blink and will pull my lashes out to the side because I feel it gives them that shape that looks like false lashes. It's just like training your bangs when you do your hair. Train your lashes to go a certain way. Don't have them stick up like Betty Boop. It looks very odd after a while. But if that's your lash preference, that's your lash preference. There we go. See? Hello. I can't believe nobody got that in the beginning. Did you guys know that I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you was the song from Monsters, Inc.? Did anybody else get that? And honestly, everybody who's tuned in now and who's watching the replay, I honestly wouldn't have where I've come in my business if it hadn't been for you guys. So I thought it was a cute little, little, mm. uh, that's amazing. Switching host of the pain though, when we did it, but we didn't have a car. We're driving, so we have the car. Uh, okay, Kim, I will definitely look um, at you. All right, so here we go. We're about to get to this side, which is going to be Sully, okay? Because it's two best friends. So my thought process is, and I'm hoping this is going to work, I'm going to do a little dark blue on the outside like I did with this green just to give a little darkness. But I'm going to fill the middle in mostly with the light blue that's a Sully blue. I want to put purple polka dots on the lid. Can we get that done? I don't know. We're going to find out right now. I'm hoping it will work. I have an idea of how to do it, but we're going to see. So I'm going to take this blue, and this is way too blue for Sully, but I just want to pat on the outside just to get that shadow like I did with the other side with the green. And then we're going to go in with the light teal and just kind of take it over. I just want a little difference in shadow. Um, but yeah, nine days, pretty excited. Have any of you have ever done a road trip with your children? Comment below. I want to hear, I was thinking Toy Story. What, wait, you were thinking Toy Story what? Oh, I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you? That, that's a good clip, that's a good guess. I'm not, I'm not gonna out rule that guess. That's a pretty good guess. I'm not opposed to that. I can see where you can think that. <clears throat> um, but how many of you have done a road trip to Florida with your children? I'm from New York, as you as you guys could hear probably in my voice. Um, and tell me, what are your must-haves? For all of you who have traveled <clears throat> almost cross-country, or just to Florida from New York, what are your must-haves in the car? Because I'm very debating on what to bring in the car because I feel like I always overpack the car and then I forget some things that I didn't put in the car and then I get mad at myself. So I want to see if anybody has any ideas for this road trip that I haven't thought of yet. We drove to Hilton Head, went to Savannah when Savannah was two. We are family six, so I don't have money. To, um, I Flying is expensive, Kim. We're a family of five, so I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, that's why, listen, we had the minivan, and then we got great mileage on it, and I'm just like, let's use it. And let's make it more of an experience than just a quick jump on a plane. Um, oh, your mom lives in Orlando. That's nice. Snacks, you always got to have snacks. The problem is putting the snacks away from the kids so they're not just eating snacks the entire car trip. All right, I want to put on this now, this light. That's a sully blue right there. If I haven't seen that, this is not a unique color. This is from my daughter's um, mood palette that I used the other day. But if this doesn't scream Sully, look at that. This is actually fun. I think I would wear this in the park. I'm going to go a little over that blue to make it a little bit lighter because I want to see the purple polka dots. I don't know if the purple polka dots are going to work. We drove from Texas to California. Damn. How was that? <laughs> 
movies and card games and everyone can play. Yes, the, uh, my, my son has his Switch. We have the television in the car. We have every Disney movie. And I try to make it fun for the kids. I'm like, this many movies, like 10 movies or what I, I do the time. And I say, it's going to take this many movies to get to our first stop or something like that. So they don't have the, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Do any of you have an, are we there yet kid? Because I do. And it's, his name is James. James asks Gus all the time. Like we'll literally be two hours into the car trip. And he's just like, this is taking so long. I'm like, don't even start now, boy. Don't even start. Notebooks. Play the license plate game. What's the license plate game? Am I a terrible parent? What's the license plate game? We have one bag for snacks that I keep up front with me and the cool and the lunch and the drinks. Melatonin. <laughs> I wanted to say it, Kim, but I felt bad saying it. <laughs> I have a tip for that. Tip for what, Kelly? Sorry, these comments are, are flying by so quick. I keep on forgetting. I'm putting a little bit of that blue under the eye. Oh, guys, this is going to be so much fun. I thought this was going to be a disaster of a look, but this might be actually really fun. I'm trying not to screw it up because it's coming along so well. Okay. Now, here's the dilemma. We got to put purple polka dots on this eye, but I don't want to do it so that it creases in between the eye and you can't see them. Do we think we can get this done or do you think that's enough and we should stop there? I do have liquid eyeliner that's purple too. Um, see, if you can, uh, see if you can spot a license plate from every state. Ooh, Chris, that's fun. <laughs> Cam, you're funny. Oh, Kelly, give me definitely tips on that. <laughs> Car ride bingo. Make that game too. So okay, uh, I give Savannah a limit of how many times she can ask based on the length of the trip. My kids probably would go over their head. They would probably not get it. And like, this doesn't sound like a game mom. This sounds like, you know, they would catch on, I think, real quick. I want to do the polka dots. I'm just trying to... So what I'm going to do, I have this eye brush um, that has this rounded circle tip. And I'm going to spritz some rose water on it just to dampen the bristles. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to rub it into the purple eyeshadow. So it's almost going to act like a stamp. Is this going to work? I really hope it is. I just want to be careful on my placement. Okay, first placement I'm going to do in the tear duct of my eye. I might have to stamp it a couple of times so you get that purple. It might not be a perfect circle, guys, but we'll get the idea. I think if we just keep on pressing it over and over, it's becoming a circle. This is going to be boss. This is going to be really cool. Uh, a to Z lights in place. Okay. Um, let's try it. All right. So I'm going to look at where my, let's do one right here. Oh, I hope this works. If not, we just mess the whole eye up. All right. Almost, almost. I think I got to wet it each time to make sure I really get, oh, please work. Please work. I had, it might just be annoying. We just might have to press and kind of dab it. Oh, it's working. <laughs> It's working. My brain is going to be happy. Look at that. Yes. All right. Now I can tell by placement. Next one's going to be up here. Okay. It's going a little bit above my eye crease, but I think it'll be all right. 
Again, this is not a subtle look. You are not going to the grocery store with this look, guys. Heck no. It's a little too high. I should have made it a little bit lower. Do you know what? I'm going to take a little bit of primer and I'm going to show you guys a trick. When you have a little oopsie, like when you do your eye makeup, and this sounds like the most weirdest thing, when you put primer underneath your makeup, it makes your makeup stay longer. When you put a little dab of primer on top of your makeup, it makes it come off. Mind-blowing. I know. So I'm going to take... I'm going to need a brush to do this. Um, this is an extra concealer brush. Let's see if we could do it. Put that primer right on top of it. Oh, it's working. So now it's like half a circle. Isn't that fun? Quick tip. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit. I need a small brush just to see how my my brush skills. If I can just press that purple in enough. This is hard. Stamping your eyes is hard. Uh, on the bottom, then I I did the the little. We'll, we'll fill it out a little bit more. This is working. I can't believe this is working. Okay. Where should the second one? I think we should just do one more right here. Okay. If I go too polka dotty, you're not going to get it. It's not going to, it's not going to make, it's going to be too much and it's just going to blend. Okay. Let's see. Damn you, wrinkly eyes, aging eyes. Get a hold you straight. So we stamp it. You might have to go like a couple times. Why isn't this one sitting as well? But yeah, so we are driving and I'm excited for it because then we can control when we come home. The kids are homeschooled anyway. I mean... It's really not a big deal. We can log in the one day in the car. We're taking them out a little, little early. But you know what? They deserve this trip, guys. I don't know. Hearts for your kids. If you think that your kids are working their butts off, because I know mine sure are. And it can't be easy for them. It's not easy for anybody. But I really thought, like, they really deserve this trip. And I really wanted to make this as fun experience for them as possible so i'm pulling out all the stops look at that that's insane this is insane i think if i had the time to get ready in the morning i would totally wear this at the park because you're not you're just going to see my mask i might i might take a couple of these looks with me on the road guys it might happen and if i do i'm gonna post it and saying I did it. I'm going to take a little bit of that purple too, because he's got the purple horns. See? So I'm just going to do a little inspo, inspo and right where I did the blue, I'm just going to do a wing underneath like his horn. This is just coming together and I'm so happy. So yeah, so we're driving. I'm going to vlog it. I'm going to show you where we stop. I'm going to show you the hotels we stay at, the cleanest ones possible. Um, and here's the thing. Do we have any Southerners down here? Do we have any Southerners on right now? So every time we drive past, I want to say it's South, South Carolina. South Carolina. Every single time we drive past, I see it advertised in all of the gas stations boiled peanuts. Is this really a thing? I haven't taken the dive and tried them yet, but every single time we drive down, I see every million sign about boiled peanuts. And first of all, I don't want to insult anybody. It sounds disgusting to me. <laughs> I'm trying to see what would a consistency of a boiled peanut be like? And is it any good? And I know some people rave about them, but I'm kind of curious as to what actually 
is a boiled peanut. And if you're going to get one when you're in the Carolinas, do I get one from a gas station? <laughs> Anybody here try a boiled peanuts? I'm a little apprehensive on it. I'm a little apprehensive on it. I know it's actually a thing, but what is it? Like, how do they make it? What does it taste like? This is really fun, guys. This is this look is looking better than what I thought it was going to turn out. I thought today it was going to be a complete disaster of a look. But this turned out to be really flipping fun. I'm not a fan of boiled peanuts, but some people love them. But what does it taste like, Chris? Is it like mushy? Because it's a peanut. It's like a nut. So when you boil it, does it become soft? Like, does it, like, I don't get, I don't get what made somebody say, hmm, I have these stack of peanuts here. You know what? Let's boil them. Like, what's the story behind that? They're literally boiled in water. They taste like boiled bean to me. Okay, I can see which the, the comparison that you're th saying, which is like, boiled beans but again why why is the real question why are we doing this listen there's probably so so many things in my culture and my way of life that people are like why but I just don't get that one okay oh my daughter is going to be so happy with this one she's going to be so happy so, okay, so we're staying at Art of, Ma Art of Animation, split stay with Bay Lake Towers, walking to Magic Kingdom, taking the Skyliner to both um, Hollywood Studios and Epcot. I am praying, praying when we get to Epcot, because it's going to be during um, Festival of the Arts. We're going to be there during that time. So there'll be fun food and some fun art things for the kids to do and we always love the festivals at Epcot. I am praying that Remy's Ratatouille Adventure Ride opens like a soft opening while we're there. Like, what are the chances of that happening? Because, oh, Lord God, my son, Brayden, watches Ratatouille like you wouldn't believe. And it's such an odd choice of a movie for a little kid to be obsessed with. Like he likes Disney cars. I totally get it. It's about cars. He likes Toy Story. I get it. It's Toy Story. Ratatouille is a very adult film. Like it's, it's, the dialogue is tough and it's a lot about serious talk and stuff. Yes, there's a fun little mouse in it, but, rat, but, it's really in depth with the the theory and the thing like that. I'm like, this is really smart for him to like this and to get this movie. He knows the critic's name. He knows the chef's name. Like, it's kind of crazy. All right, I want to put a little bit of a lavender highlight here just to bring out more of this purple. It's kind of like a rose gold highlight. It's nothing too crazy. But just to put a little fun, just to mix a little fun into this. Let's do it. A little rose gold highlight to bring in a little bit of lavender. See that? Ooh, so pretty. Okay. But I'm so hoping that this ride will be open or a soft opening. Or maybe we're just walking by the France Pavilion and they're just like, hey, you guys, come on. And I'm like, what? I don't know why it is. I don't know why, Tracy. He just got so fascinated with that movie. And they don't really make... Well, now they, they have uh, merch in the France Pavilion. Brand new merch. And we're big merch people. So, uh, fun stuff. But he wanted like an action figure. Like an actual action figure of a Remy. And I posted this months back. And I found one on eBay. And listen, guys, there are some good people out there. All right. Let me let me start by saying that there are some people, you know, the people around like Christmas time who get the big hot toy of the year and they put it on Amazon and they jack it up like 50 bucks and 
so some poor mother who's crying somewhere because their kid wants a present from Santa and it's the hardest thing to get and those people are laughing at us like trying to get this and take advantage of us there are some good people in this world because there was a Remy um action figure that they don't make anymore and it was like an animated talking action figure, like a plastic toy. I didn't want a plush because if we have another plush in this house, I might as well scream and lose my sh it. Um, but he wanted the, like, I was like, uh, he wants like a little plastic toy. So there was this uh, Remy. It was almost like life size. And he talks. And I was just like, that's what I want. And they were asking <clears throat> like 50 bucks for it on eBay. So I sent the person a private note. I'm putting that lavender above there so it's like a little boom. And I'll do a white highlighter on this side. No, I'll do the lavender too. Who cares? Um, so I sent the seller a message and I said, listen, I'm a mother of a two-year-old boy. I am not a collector. I'm not hoping to gain anything or um, sell this off for any type of ridiculous price. He legit just loves the movie Ratatouille. I cannot find a toy to save my life for him. I will give you $25 plus the shipping for this toy. He accepted the agreement. I was never so happy. I was like, there are some good people. And that's how you know that person was a Disney person. Okay. So a regular person who just grabs things and sells things off, like, there's something, if you're a Disney person, something called Disney magic, there was so much Disney magic in that instant. I was just like, somebody really cares that a two-year-old's going to sit here, take this out of the box and play with it. Like that really, really like touched my heart and it made me so happy. And when the baby opened it, he was like, Remy. And I was just like, oh, thank you to whoever that person was. Look at this, guys. Mike Wazowski and Sully, we got to do a lip. So I got this liquid lipstick. This was a limited edition color and it's like a lavender purple. Should we do like a lavender like purple or is that going to be too much? I don't know. Let's try it out. If we hate it, we can take it off. But uh, yeah, uh, this is really metallic. This is a really metallic color. Let's see if we like it. If we don't, we can pick something else. I don't think it's that bad. What do you think? I did have a color, like it was a purple lipstick. It was cold. It's really shiny. I'm going to blot it. I don't need my lips to be that metallic. Mm-mm. I'm not a fan of the metallic lip. Okay. Probably put a little clear gloss on that to lighten it up. Uh, so. There you go. Just a little slight tint. It's a lot of color going on today. I told you guys it was going to be a lot of color today. But this is fun. I might actually like wear this. <laughs> Uh, top it off with a new gloss just to give it a little shine effect instead of that metallic craziness um so we are going to be driving we are going to be um filming and capturing our experience with you guys if you guys want and we're going to be going live. That's the most important thing. We're going to be going live during our stay at the parks. Um, lips incorporate boot. Oh, it does. Chris, that's how I know you're a fellow junkie. This is the color of Boo's dress. 150%. Maybe that's why my eyes were drawn to that lipstick. Maybe I subconsciously thought in my head, Boo's dress, and it, it, is my Disney obsession that crazy that I just like, I thought of it without thinking of it. 
It's quite possible. Aww. Now I love this look even more. But I, I would just see this if I wore this in the parks. But I think still that would be fun. Uh, but if you guys want to check out, we're going to be doing all that type of uh, research and vlogging. And we're going to be going live in Disney World in that group only. Not on my public page here, okay? Because uh, only, you know, the crazy people who want to know what's it like during a pandemic. Um... Are the crowds high? Are the lines long? How are the kids with masks? Uh, is it clean? All these questions, I hope to go live plenty of times in that Facebook group to answer anyone's questions on our experience. Um, we're also going to be videoing a lot of things and posting out on the YouTube page. Now, Disney obsession is too crazy. <laughs> it could be. It could be. So if you guys want to um, get all that info and to see what we do on our trip, and if you're not going anywhere for February break and you want to feel like you're gone somewhere, send us a little request um, on Facebook. The group is Mr. Keen's Wild Ride. I'm clearly my husband's wild ride. And uh, we also have a YouTube channel. All right. So and on Instagram and on TikTok, we're trying to really do this right this year. But this is the final look, guys. Mike, Sully, and Boo. Should I get my daughter? And should I ask her what she thinks? Madison! I kind of love this. I kind of love how this came out. Madison! Let's see what she thinks. Are you ready to see the final look? Yeah. Come here. Ooh. Mike. Oh, yeah, I get it. Sully. Boo. Oh, I see it. What do you think? Two thumbs up? Yeah. Sh show yeah. Them. <laughs> Madison didn't do her hair, so that's why she's trying not to be on camera. You like it? Is that fun? If I wore this in the Disney parks, would you be seen with me? She said yes. She said yes. Is that a question? Ja yeah, it's a question. James. I really thought this came out cute, guys. James, want to see my makeup look? Ready? Come over here. I'm Who are you? Mike was look, Mike Wazowski, uh -huh. Sully, uh -huh. and Boo. Oh. What, God, do you, like what do you think? Two thumbs up or two thumbs down? Two thumbs up. Ah, uh, if I wore this in the park, would you want to be seen with me? What does that mean? If I wore this makeup at Disney World, would you be okay with that? Yeah. But some of the kids might think you're scary. Look at the, look at the, 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 the celly eye. Look at the dots. I know, isn't that cool? Have mommy made polka dots on her eyes? Yeah, and, and the Mike and Alice says fine, but the Sully's like scary. It's not scary, it's just darker. Do you like it though? Yeah, but you also did the pink polka dots, but that looks like purple though. It is purple. He has purple polka dots, not pink. It's a light purple. Oh. All right, guys. Well, this was our, we have nine days left to the countdown. We have nine looks left to do. I slacked the other day. We got the Peloton. I got distracted. Something shiny. My attention was not there. But I think this was a huge success. Give me a comment down below, guys, for the next nine days. What should I attempt to do? Disney-inspired look. And um, comment below. I will take all suggestions into consideration. I will probably have a pair of ears. And remember, you can suggest a film, a certain character, a ride or attraction, or like I did the, the castle the one time. So you can say, you know, tree of life or, but I'm not going to do tree of life unless someone asks for it. But, um, but you get the idea. Disney character, Disney movie, Disney attraction, Disney anything, okay? I want to hear what you guys want to see for the next nine days as we count down to our trip. 
I thought this was super fun and I can't believe this came out as good as it did. I'm pretty excited. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I will see you tomorrow, Monday. And uh, yeah, have a magical day, guys. All right, see you later.